Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna be doing a tool review, but one with a difference, because this is a genuine Ferrari F40 door, belonging to none other than the man himself, Mr. Ratarossa. Now, a little bit of difference, because what we're gonna do with this door is we're gonna try and reproduce it. And how we're gonna do that is by using the Creality Serboon S1 3D scanner. Now, if you want to know more about Scott and his Ferrari projects, I'll pop a link to his channel in the description below. Now, this 3D scanner from Creality is packed with features that make it a game changer for pros and hobbyists alike. So we thought, let's put it to the test and scan something a little bit special. First off, let's cover all the key features of the Sermon S1. This is a professional grade 3D scanner with fantastic precision down to 0.02. That's finer than a human hair. Perfect for capturing every detail. It uses multi-line versatility with a three-in-one blue laser system, single line mode for deep hole scanning, tackling blind spots without missing a beat, seven line mode for detailed high resolution scans on medium sized objects, and 34 line mode for blazing fast coverage on large areas, speeding up the process without sacrificing quality. So no more blind spots. Now this Ferrari F40 door is a rare gem. The F40 launched in 1987 and is a legend with its twin turbo V8 and lightweight design. Parts are scarce and expensive, hence why we're scanning it. Now we're going to scan this door in two parts. We're gonna scan this side then we're gonna flip it over, we're gonna scan the opposite side, and then we're gonna cut the two in half, or we're gonna clean up the bits, things like that. And then we're gonna merge both scans, so we've got one scan of both sides of this door. Right now, the software is very, very easy to use as well. Once you've plugged into the USB, it does come with a little don dongle where you can either plug it into a standard USB or USB-C and from there all you do as soon as you've plugged it in and you've got it plugged into the power basically it shall tells you that your scanner is connected once you're connected you're good to go click on new project and from there you can just start scanning now we are going to use the conventional method on this door. We're going to use markers. Now the reason being is because we want to extract as much detail as we possibly can out of that door because we're not going to get hold of another Ferrari F40 door. They are that rare. So next thing to do, cover it with markers. Right, so once you've covered it in markers, um, you, the, you can then scan. So you've clicked your new scan. What we're gonna do, we're gonna first start off with cross lines, then we're gonna go to parallel lines and then single lines. Cross lines will give us overall um, surface area as parallel lines will give us more detail and a single line will get into all those nooks and crannies. Now, all we've got to do from there is we've got play and pause on the back there. So we can start scanning his area and when we want to reposition ourselves, just press pause and carry on around. Let's get scanning.
Right, so when you've finished your scan, what you do end up with is something that's a little bit messy. It's got, let's have a look. It's got a lot of noise, things that aren't supposed to be there, but very, very easy to clean up because all we use is this lasso tool. We select the bit we don't want, press delete. Now, once you've done all that, you just take this box here. That gives you scan number one. Now, if you click on this fusion, keep the resolution, quick clicking standard. You can do a super fast one, but you get better definition if you're clicking standard. Just click on the fusion, click on apply, and there it is. We didn't even use um, any other modes. We just, just used the one for doing maths because this is a big surface area. But when we flip it over, we want to be getting all these details and down here as well. So we will be using the other two modes as well on the same scan. So, Let's flip it over and get the other side scan. Right, so these don't come with the kit, but I would get hold of some. They're reuse reusable markers, basically. Now, I haven't got any blue tack, but what I normally do, pop a bit of blue tack, pop them in there so they don't move. But we're going to be careful. I'm just going to balance them in. Right, I think we're ready. Now, what I have found, if you're scanning a section and you find there's not enough markers, you can just press pause, put some more markers on, and then gradually just scan those markers in and it will recognise them. Right, from here, we can see we've got a scan that's one side of his door. So what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna do another scan and that'll add to it. That'll give us two scans for one job. And all we need to do is get scanning again. So now we do have inside the holes and these edges to do. So we're gonna do the cross lines, uh, sorry, parallel lines, and then we're gonna do the single line. And there it is. That's the second side, a few holes there, but we can patch them up later. So what we want to do now is click on process. We want to click on alignment and we've got both scans selected and both there. So if we align automatically, I think this is gonna, let's have a look, oh my word. And there we have a Ferrari F40 door. So the next thing we've done is we've clicked on mesh in there. And all I've got to do is wait for this to get to there. And there we have it. From there, we can now edit, fine tune, do whatever we need to do to it when we edit it. Right, so verdict. Um, yeah, what a cracking little tool. Very easy to use, very easy to set up. The software's very easy to use and the results speak for themselves. The only downside is you do have to use markers if you scan the way we do. Now, this does have other options, which we haven't explored yet, but we will. 
So don't forget, if you need any more information about the Creality Sermon S1, just click the link in our description below. If you've enjoyed the video, leave us a like and smash that subscribe button. Until then, we will see you in the next one.